The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. When the days were completed for their purification according to the law of Moses, the parents of Jesus took him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, just as it is written in the law of the Lord. Every male that opens the womb shall be consecrated to the Lord and to offer the sacrifice of a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons in accordance with the dictate in the law of the Lord. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, awaiting the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the Christ of the Lord. He came in the Spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to perform the custom of the law in regard to him, he took him into his arms and blessed God, saying, Lord, now let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you prepare in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nation and the glory of your people Israel. The child's father and mother were amazed at what was said about him. And Simeon blessed them and said to Mary his mother, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel and to be a sign that will be contradicted. And you yourself, a sword, will pierce so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. The Gospel, the good news of the Lord. I would like to focus a little bit today on the first reading because I think the first reading is so close to us here. We love to ask the question, do you know Jesus? And these are two different questions. Do you know Jesus? Or do you know about Jesus? Yeah? We, we love to differentiate, distinguish between to know him and to know about him. I have to confess, I'm a very slow learner. That's a secret. <laughs> Second, not just slow, but I'm behind the history so much. Because I grew up in Vietnam, and in Vietnam, I remember I never had a newspaper in my hand to read. I was born in 1972, right during the Vietnam War. After the communists took over in 1975, newspaper, very rare, published. Only rich people, middle class, can afford newspaper. And a lot of times, even information publicized or published, not even true information. And so one time I read history by heart, so because I had to remember my heart, my mom listened to my citation. She said, Dad, what are you saying? What are you reading? That's not right. So today, my brothers and sisters, we love information. We love data. We love to collect more history. And in fact, right now, I'm catching up. History of America here, civil rights, back in Constitution, Declaration of Constitution and all that. I learned so much. I learned so much. And I, I'm not a history guy, but I have to force myself to learn. Otherwise, I just know the gospel and Maybe I missed the point even. But the point I want to make today is, how do we know that we know? Because Jesus, St. John today said that if you say you know him and you don't put his teaching into practice, you're a liar. 
up front, straight, direct. And a lot of times we like to know about Jesus. And I tried to figure out why St. John said that. Because you can know about me. You can know me because you live with me. You work with me. But to know me, Tat Hong, and to know Jesus are two different things. Do you know that? Two different things. Total different objects even. Because Jesus, he's not here for us to collect data. And we love to collect history, historical events, and data. You know, when he died, when he was born, what, how many scripture, how many gospel. We love to challenge each other that fact. But today, St. John wants to emphasize that to know Jesus means to, to walk his walk, to say what he say, to do what he does. And that's a two different things. And so the purpose of Jesus for us is to imitate him, to follow his example, and to do what he does, to feel what he feels even to the point, can you feel what I feel? And that is the challenge for us. And so today, my brothers and sisters, if we are, we tell you that we are Christian, we are Catholic, we are disciples of Jesus, we need, I don't want to say stop saying it, do it. Do it. New Year's coming. I have a friend, and now she tried to map out a New Year, what do you call that? Um, promises? Resolution. And she want to practice on virtues, becomes virtuous person. And I asked her, what is the purpose of becoming virtuous person? And she pondered. Because we like to be holy. We like to be called good and holy and religious person, saintly person. But the bottom line is what? You know, we don't want to prove and to show off our holiness. We have to do it in a way that people can see it, can feel it, can not sympathize it, but they, they. we become testimony, witnesses of Jesus Christ, the lover the forgiver, the compassionate Jesus in our midst today. And so, hopefully, we don't just find one truth and then we claim the all truth. Because following Jesus is much more than just one simple truth. Every day, God reveals us new mysteries. I hope each one of us say that Older is better because I'm getting older. I know more stuff and I have more compassion toward people because I can see each one is so beautiful. It's so beautiful, especially as the image and likeness of God. So may God bless us today and our near future here that we live inside of Jesus and allow Jesus to live inside of us. Amen.